G'day guys, welcome back to the Entertain House YouTube channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic night. We're here tonight for an Origin Game 2 preview of the NRL. It's just two days to Origin. I'm so excited to get through this team list and my tips with you as I do every game every year. But first of all, guys, this video is sponsored by Drom Clothing. Make sure you check out Drom Clothing Co. via Instagram at the moment. Um, and go and check out the website, drom.com.au. Just want to let you know some exclusives happening over the next week as we go towards the end of the financial year. There's 25% off the entire shop, so the current palm tea the new beanies that you saw in my quiz video the other day, and the big one, free shipping over $75. So if you spend over $75 at DROM, you will get free shipping. So make sure you go and check them out. They've been very, very supportive of the channel, guys. And let's get into State of Origin Game 2. So guys, obviously the New South Wales Blues in Game 1 at Townsville blitzed the Queensland Maroons 50 points to 6. It was a, a Tommy Turbo, Latrell Mitchell, absolute masterclass. A, 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 not for a Queenslander, but a fantastic game for Blues fans. I mean, I was excited just watching how good this back line was for New South Wales. And the thing for New South Wales is they retain that back line. Now, there are a lot of outs for both of these sides. It is a really, really interesting game coming up as obviously if New South Wales win, they will reclaim the series in Queensland. It's been a long time, as Jared Hayne likes to say, since the Blues won in Queensland. The Maroons have won 13 of the last 15 games at Suncorp. And uh, there's, there's a lot to be excited about as a Maroon. There's a lot to be nervous about, but there's also a lot to be excited about. We'll go through the away team first. We'll go through the New South Wales Blues. Let's talk about their ins. Angus Crichton, he's been fantastic at the Roosters this year, and he will make his origin return. He will be, I believe he's not starting. I believe he's by the bench. I'm just double-checking. Yeah, he's in Jersey 15. Angus Crichton is back for the New South Wales side. A nice boost there. Campbell Graham, named for the New South Wales Blues. He's on the reserves in jersey number 19. And the other one is Dale Finucane has also been named in the reserves in jersey number 20. So he could be a late chance of playing. Api Gorosau, Campbell Graham and Dale Finucane there. So for the bench, you've got Liam Martin retaining his spot. Payne Haas via the bench. Angus Crichton and Jack Whiten retains that jersey number 14. He wasn't too bad in Origin Game 1. I still, th still think Cody Walker, in my opinion, probably deserved it. But we'll see how Jack go. And then that back line, it's really, really dominant. You got James Tedesco, you got Brian Toto, you got Latrell Mitchell, Tommy Turbo, who is arguably one of the best players, if not the best player in rugby league in the world right now. Uh, you got Josh Adokar. You've got Jerome Luai and Nathan Cleary, the Pen of Panthers half. So that is a really, really solid back seven, especially that back five. There's so much strike and speed and power there. But let's talk about my Queensland Maroons. This game is being played at Suncorp Stadium on Sunday at 7.50. Now, I wasn't going to do it originally, but guys, I'm actually going to do a stream for this game. Backs against the wall here for Queensland. And being from Queensland as a Maroons fan, I just, I, I want to do it. I want to get behind the boy on camera on Sunday night. So I'm going to be doing a live stream for this game. And let's get into our changes. In for the Maroons, Andrew McCulloch via jersey number nine. Now, obviously, this means that Harry Grant, Reed Marnie, both unable to be selected. So it's a... It's an interesting choice, McCulloch. I probably would have had Ben Hunt, in my opinion, in that number nine. But, I mean, the, the, the choices were pretty scarce for the most part. Uh, Francis Molo. Now, Francis Molo has been named via the bench. He's not actually on the reserves, so he will be making a Queensland debut in jersey number 17. We have Ronaldo, Mulatalo, and Cohen Hess in the reserves for that one. Our bench, jersey 14, uh, Ben Hunt has been named by the bench. I can't wait to see him in that 14 jersey. He'll be making some big kicks and some good tackles. I'm expecting Ben to have a huge game. 
David Fafita has been dropped to the bench, meaning Jai Arrow goes from the bench to the starting side. It's an interesting move, this one. I think Moe Fodawaka was absolutely fantastic in, in game one. Uh, he was really putting his heart out in a, in a big loss, but... I'm really glad he's retained his spot. I just don't know about his teammate in David Fafita being off the bench. He could provide a lot of impact, but I think it's a really interesting move. Uh, our experienced veteran, Josh Papalihi, is back in the side in jersey number 10. Who's he up against? He's up against Junior Paulo, his former Raider teammate. What a nice matchup there. Reese Walsh. He's played eight games of rugby league under the New Zealand Warriors. Previously was a Brisbane Bronco, and he has been on fire. He's been contesting for Rookie of the Year. How will he go on the big stage here? He is the Queensland Maroons fullback this weekend. It's a really interesting move. It's a great move, in my opinion. I think he's in for an absolutely huge game. I just hope he's a little bit better under those high balls as we saw him struggle um, against the Knights. But at the same time... Those conditions were so wet and rainy, and I think these conditions should be a lot better. I mentioned some of the outs. I mentioned Harry Grant. Xavier Coates is also out. Valentine Holmes is not a fullback. I'm going to say it all year. He's a winger. Valentine Holmes in the wing. Fantastic spot there for him. You've also got AJ Brimson out. Now, AJ Brimson brought a lot to the side lately for me, and he had a decent game one as well, even though you could tell that he's not fit. I'm going to miss him. I really am. He would probably be my choice at fullback if if Caelan Ponga was not... Oh, well, if Caelan Ponga wasn't named, obviously he can't play with injury at the moment. I'd probably put Ponga in the one, AJ in the 14, but I wouldn't want him playing that nine role. I didn't like in game one him playing that nine role, but he definitely looked like he was proud to be in a Queensland jersey, which I really like to see. Uh, Joe F. Offerhengawi is also out. And as for the Blues, Jake Trevojevic is out. Now, guys, who do I tip? Well, let's go with some try scorers first, guys. I'm going to take Valentine Holmes as the first try scorer. In the previous game, it was Tom Trevojevic breaking it um, in for the New South Wales Blues to hit with the first try. And for this game, I'm going to go with a winger. I'm going to go Valentine Holmes at Suncorp. He's gone from fullback to the wing. I think he can get some nice ball. Um, you could back his teammate in Kyle Felt, but I'm going to go Val. I think Val's been a really good origin try scorer in that Maroons jersey for years that have, that have passed. So I'm going to go Valentine Holmes to score a try. Let's go to the Blues now. And I'm going to go with the man who scored the first try in game one. I'm going to go with Tom Trevojevic. He's in insane form. He scored two tries, I believe, in the first half. He scored, I'm pretty sure he scored back-to-back -back tries, if I'm not wrong, for the Sea Eagles um, against the Titans really early on as well. So Tommy Turbo will score during origin here. Uh, let's go with another Queenslander. I'm going to take Reese Walsh here. Reese Walsh, for me, has been fantastic. I feel like he's going to get his a run and just put that ball down. It's going to be quite soft, but everyone's going to be getting around him. And it's going to be a fantastic moment when Reese Walsh scores on the big stage. The other try scorer, my roughy one, he had a fantastic game one. He's been charging down balls all year, so if he gets a charge down kick off Cameron Munster or Cherry Evans if they're not on. From the back row, I'm going to go Tarek Sims for the Blues. I think Tarek Sims might score a try in Origin Game 2. There's always a roughie in there. In Game 1, it was Daniel Saifidi, and I predict it to be Tarek Sims this time. Who am I going to tip here? Well, I want to go... I feel like I should be going with the Blues here, and I tip the Blues to win Game 1, and I tip the Blues to win the series... I don't expect it to be a 3 0. I, mean, I hope it's not a 3 0. The Maroons at $4 is juicy odds. And that's just because of the fact that this side always gets up. And the fact that we're underdog is the, the best part about it. We love being that underdog status. But at the same time, that Blues back, back line is a lot better than that Maroons back line. But with Reese Walsh making his origin debut with Kyle Felt getting another chance with a filthy Munster who's in some great form off his halves partner in Jerome Hughes. 
The return of Josh Papalihi. I don't know about McCulloch in the nine. I think Ben Hunt will kind of move, transition into that hooker role, making some very important tackle. And David Fafita to provide some impact off the bench. Poor Greens, Maroons. I'm going with the Maroons to win game two in a thriller. It's going to be a very close game. Now, I predicted one point in game one between the game. And Origin normally, for the most part, is close. And I think that this, this line should probably be around maybe 10.5. I would take Queensland at a line of 10.5. I'm not sure if that is the current line. I'm going to take the Maroons to win in an upset here to tie up the series as we head back to ANZ for another or for a decider in Game 3. Just like last year, I'm going to go Queensland to win 26 points to 22. I, th I think this g game is going to show that the new rules are going to come into effect. I think they were eased off in Game 1. I feel like they're going to be a little bit critical here on a few decisions and we're going to be going... Oh, but at the same time, I feel like those penalties or those six against that shouldn't be happening are going to lead to some fast-paced try, and there's going to be tries all over the park here. So I'm going to take Queensland to win. The underdogs, 26 points to 22. Um, I think it's going to be a fantastic game of football. And as I mentioned, just to recap, I'm going to take Valentine Holmes to score the first try of the match. I'm going to take anytime Reese Walsh in that Queensland jersey to cross over. And I'm going to take... Tom Trevojevic and Tarek Sim to score for the New South Wales Blue. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you do like and subscribe to the channel. We're getting so much closer to 3K. I'm also going to be putting out a little hype video relating to Let's Talk Footy. There is kind of a little spin-off in the works of Let's Talk Footy, which is my little podcast I've done in the off-season. However, this one will be in the on-season. But this has been my State of Origin preview, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Comment your tips below. And also, keep an eye out because on next week, the round 16 tips, I will be announcing the winner of the Parramatta Eels signed footy. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.